Harbor Hawkeye Arena, the scene of the Iowa exhibition opener against the Philippine national team. And Iowa with the lead of 55 to 44. Tom Davis trying to blend six new players in with his established group, trying to make up for the graduation or loss of his top two scorers, Davis and Bowen. Also, Daryl Moore has moved on, and so the Hawkeyes in a rebuilding phase early, and so far, so good. Philippine national team, after drawing a 19-point deficit, started to make a charge. Patrimonio works his way in deep against the double team, and he is fouled. Albert Patrimonio, the 6'3", 6'5", guard, has really started to make a difference for the Philippine Nationals. Done a nice job of being patient at his end of the court. Here he knows he has a man that he can beat, being quicker, pump fake, as both Jakes and Rucker flying by. And it looked like a whiff. <laughs> Jakes on the foul, his first. And Patrimonio hits the free throw. He's got six and a half, and now eight in the game. Jake's out, Thompson in. And the Philippine national team making their last six field goal attempts. They've kept this one interesting as once again, they are back to within nine. The Hawkeyes fast breaking. Range on the follow, doesn't get the roll. But Oliver gets it and the Hawkeyes will reset the offense. Range and Thompson together on the floor as they were at Galesburg, Illinois High School, where they were the state runners up last year. Foul called against the Philippines away from the play. Foul called on Kenneth Durendis, and that will be his first. Looked like holding away from the basketball, preventing Iowa's cuts. That's the sixth foul against the Philippines. The Hawkeyes have been assessed seven, so both teams in the bonus the rest of the way. Rucker, good job kicking it back to Dean Oliver. And the home run. Pyle tries to throw at the length of the floor, but he throws it too far. Looking for Duremdis, and the Hawkeyes will have it. Into the lineup for Iowa, Duez Henderson. He got the starting call today. He's out of Detroit, River Rouge High School, where he led that team to a Class B state championship last year. And his point guard from last year, he's a senior this year, he's already committed to Ohio State, Brent Darby, so very talented team. Rucker on the follow. Rucker once again for the putback. Guy Rucker kept after it. And that's what Iowa's been known for a number of years, strong offensive rebounding team because they're in position and they're very aggressive. The Hawkeyes go back up by 11. With 10 minutes and 20 seconds left in the second half. A lot of screen and rolls, picks being set. The pull up is short by Kaidik, and the rebound is taken down by Rucker. That is six rebounds for Rucker to go along with his 14 points. Rushman buries it. Good job again by Oliver and Lurisman. Just having a good feel for each other, knowing where they are. Where again, the freshmen, they get a little tired. And all the freshmen talk to us today about the intensity level of every play in practice. And of course, in the game, it's obviously going to be intense. Sometimes in high school, you say, I think you can loaf for a couple of plays, catch your breath. Not here. Jojo Lastimosa puts it down, his first bucket for the Philippine national squad. And again, it's an 11-point game. Rucker. Patrimonio wraps it up for the Philippines. So lots of time left in this one. And again, this is a talented Philippine team. Team made up entirely of professional players. Now steal almost by range. And nobody at that point steps in the lane to really prevent straight line penetration to the goal. Part of it may be because of being a little tired. And Rucker, that time, getting the ball in. And the thing I like about Guy is his confidence to keep coming back to his shot 
he has not been tentative about looking for a shot in this game. EJ File, the seven foot one player for the Philippine national squad, picks up the foul, sending Rucker to the line. The guy's not very often going to turn around and see a guy 7'1", 285 pounds in front of him. Well, and Guy Rucker, 14 shots. And you can see again, Tom Davis talking to the junior Lewisman. And three Hawkeyes come in, or actually two will be coming in right now, Goslin and Jakes, <laughs> while Rob Thompson will come in if Rucker makes the shot. Guy Rucker now with 15 points. That would be a better performance than he had all of last year, a season high last year, 14 a couple of times against Rice and Northwestern. So an encouraging day for Guy Rucker. And the Hawkeyes, more importantly. And the Iowa League grows to 11 with 8.44 remaining. Uh, Jacob Jacks is on the ball, out of bounds, putting some pressure, seeing if they can get a double team to get a steal. Arbemientos has come in to run the point for the Philippines. His action today really been blunted by early foul problems. Arbemientos with the ball there. The penetration by Patrimonio. A first up that time on Kent McCausland. And good patience to get the open scoring opportunity. Thompson, good look for McCausland. McCausland will bring it back. Lersman with an open look. Rod Thompson handling and then mishandling the basketball. Again, part of it nerves and just an opportunity. When you play hard, sometimes you got to squeeze that orange just a little bit more. Probably people want to do things just a little too quickly at this stage. Foul call on the Philippines, and the ball goes back to the Hawkeyes, as you see the Philippines coach, Tim Cohn, in front of his bench. And Oliver. Opportunity to go to the line. McCausland taking, defending his man one on one and doing a good job of isolation. The Philippine team and no double team help. So Dean Oliver to the line. He just got better as the season progressed last year, committed just nine turnovers in his last six games, and helping the Hawkeyes to a 20 and 11 season. In talking with him today it was interesting. Now he did get better. What he felt better this year is the system. I said, how are the freshman and junior college players doing? And he kind of said, well, they're struggling, you know, a little bit. They don't know everything. He says, kind of like me last year. Hey, <laughs> what? They would all settle for the same kind of progress that he made. Well, he said now he can see how far he had come and how little he really knew, even in December and January. He just did not really feel comfortable to really the trip in England to know what's going on rather than think what's going on. And you've got to react to this game. You start thinking on the court, you've got some problems. Lane violation gives Oliver a second chance, which he cashes in, and the Hawkeyes lead it 63 to 52. Iowa by 11 with 7.46 to play. You're watching Big Ten Basketball from ESPN+. Plus.